All right, guys, K Doc here. Welcome back to another Gold Rush video. Hard mode. Uh, I have done pretty much used the money and moved everything to here, to River Town. So I have rented the drill for the day. So I am going to be basically doing some drill drilling. Um, this claim, hopefully, just for the day, and then we'll get the wash plant set up. It's still going to be doing the front loader. Um, probably leave all the good gold and hopefully just keep on filling up some buckets until I have something um, like basically oh, I'm trying to think of the word and leave all the good patches of gold so we can upgrade the equipment it's just gonna reach so we have a full tank in here so yeah I'm gonna show you the drill I'm not gonna talk over it probably just be some music or something again it's like a little time lapse so it's not gonna be too long because it will take a hell of a long, long time <laughs> A long ass video that would be. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Well, I'll add this in while I'm sat here still drilling away. Um, what I'm trying to do is, if you notice, I'm going on the line, so it does two. I'm guessing if you did, like, yeah, if you get it right in the middle, you'd get four done. So you double in your drill, drill, drill. Oh, I can't even get my words out. How many times do I want to say drill in that sentence? I'd have no idea. But you're getting more out of your drill instead of doing one at a time um but you got to try and get it dead on i'm guessing on the middle so we'll try on this one again but i'm not liking the uh color of the gold map right now to be honest so so go back a little bit more uh maybe try it there yeah so if you try and get it in the corner you possibly can get the four things but as you notice, what I was doing, I kept on checking the gold map. So looks like the highest part of gold is going to be at the front here. So if I do all the way up there and then do four squares that way, hopefully by the end of the day, because I don't want to rent it again. So just enough money to rent it once. That is the plan. So I just thought I'd give you that little technique if you ever do want to do some drilling yourself. That's one little way of doing it, I guess. Um, it's not very good on hills. And the reason it keeps on coming up, put a handbrake down, is because I am using controller driving this right now. And every time I touch the Allen, uh, Allen key? The, the, um, oh, what are they called? Um, generally can't think what they're called. It moves the thing so it thinks I'm trying to drill when I'm not, when I'm just trying to steer. So, hope you enjoy the rest of the video and peace.
welcome back hope you enjoyed that little uh time lapse of me doing some drilling i didn't drill all of it but i drilled some of it anyway to just have a look where the most amount of gold is which is probably going to be over this side and a bit over here but at the moment i'm digging down this line change color now a lot lighter than it was but yeah just gonna have to dig some of this out and just keep on saving up money but i thought i'd just do the first clean out with you guys um i have started doing something different these are the hog pan mats because i noticed this uh, water source has dried up really as soon as i'm about to do it so that's the one thing i have a problem with right now is the water there i'm gonna have to sort that out especially while during the summertime anyway but I've no, I've done this at Old Arnold. The last cleanup I did, I uh, basically swapped it out. See, that was only seven. That many ounces. Seven point ninety ounces of magnetite. That was just the hog pan mats, and then uh, these are the these mats. I can't think of what to call them um, because I don't know if it's true, but like the magnetite was totally different before. What I did did it at. Let's see what that gold is uh that magnetite it could be a lot higher it could be a lot lower i don't know have a look in a sec it was just because it was different that's 96 so i'm guessing when i mix it up with the not the very good stuff it's not the best if that makes sense so it's best when you run it through that do these two separately compared to these two if you use the hog pan it's 6.80 ounces of gold so that's not too bad, actually. I'm happy with that. 49, another 60. Don't know what else I'm going to get out of these buckets. It's different ground. Um, it is still only tier 1 stuff, so I'm not going to get the full percent out of it, but I just thought I'd show you a little clean out anyway. But in that bucket, 15, so that's going to be not very good either probably be just over an ounce of gold probably in that one four in that one so that's not too bad every little helps and what i'm going to do now is just fill up some buckets for uh the next video and just do one big clean out hopefully if i have enough money to be able to do that with um but we'll see uh just keep on filling up buckets we're back on river town we've got enough buckets to keep on filling up anyway 0.9 so that'd be another 1.9 probably ounce of gold uh probably be the last one in it but i've already put that one through the uh nugget trap at the top there no more gold in there two uh, 15 to 20 109, probably another 109 in that one. That was all the buckets. Um, be a lot easier if I had workers where they could swap out the buckets for me and I'd just keep digging, but I just got to watch the fuel. I have bought the conveyor belt because it was on a 29% discount, so I went and bought that. So that's a bonus. Uh, another 15 ounces, so another 1.9 probably. 0.8. I just thought I'd show you the first clean out of the that anyway the first clean out of Rivertown and plus at the end of the montage of me doing some drills so I've just been doing this little bit bit closer bit awkward this is very slow really slow of filling it up like it's unbelievable slow uh, it's so annoying to just keep on going and we got another 1.9 so that was 16.3 ounces so the further we go that back hopefully that'll be a lot better but there's not a lot of digging I'm gonna do without the uh, water source flowing. So summer's gonna be sort of a, um, only if I pay for water, but I can't afford that right now. So we, I'll figure something out anyway, what I'll do. It might be just wait till nighttime and dig, but it just does my head in digging in dark. Cause I can't afford lights, can't afford all of it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.